More Amazon fun finds. I'm so excited to share with you what I have this time for Amazon favorites or Amazon things I've been loving. Hello everyone. I'm so glad that you're spending a few minutes with me today. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and I hope that you do decide to subscribe. And everyone, if you would just give that like button a hit right now, I would really appreciate it. It does help me out so very much. And if you've been with me a while, Love you guys. Can't wait to show you what I have today. Let's start off with what I have on for an outfit. I'm super excited to show you this because this outfit came together really cute. This is a printed shirt that is eyelet fabric. I love the detailing on this so very much. It's just a really cute shirt. It comes over the rear and the print on it is really cute. It does come in a bunch of different colors, so you know that as well. Really like the little eyelets right here that um, just give it a little bit of detailing on the V-neck. And then it has a little flutter sleeve right here, really cute, and just kind of a cap sleeve on that. The pants that I have on, I'm so excited to tell you about because those pants are so stretchy and they are the cutest capris. So they look like pants, but they're kind of like a jegging type thing, which I love. I own them in three different colors and they have real pockets on them. So you're getting the look of real pants, but they are a pull on pant, which tells you that the waistband is super stretchy, which I absolutely love. I own them in the black and then in the gray and then the one that I am wearing today in the blue. And I swear I'm gonna get more because these are so comfortable and so stretchy. And I personally can't wear shorts because of how my legs look with all the sagging skin. And so these are perfect for me. They're the perfect length. They give you that vibe of summer clothing without being shorts and I just love them. And I love the way that this top came together with the blue pants. I just think it's so cute. Also, the chain that I have on is a link chain, which is really fun. I love the toggle on it. And I love silver jewelry anyway, so I wear a lot of silver. I do know that some of these do come in gold. I'll try to put a gold option down there if you're more of a gold person. And then I just put on these hoops. If you've been with me any amount of time, you know that I'm a hoop person as well. And I love hoops and these just matched really well with the chain. So that's what I went for today. And also what I have on with the outfit is these cute sandals that you will see right here. And I love these, they're so comfortable. They're Skechers. They have the little bit of cushioning in there. They're kind of formed to your feet or to the sole of your feet. So I love that they don't pinch my toes. I really like these. And because they're kind of that khaki, light beige khaki color with a little bit of fun accents on them, I can wear them with just about anything. And I love to wear these when I'm wearing a skirt or a dress and it's just so easy to throw these on because they're just stylish but at the same time they're super comfortable to wear this does have a wedge heel in it so you're getting about i would say maybe an inch and a half heel after you count in the wedge that's on the front or the platform that's on the front so these are super fun and I think that you will really enjoy them. Along with all those other things that I have on today for an outfit, I paired it with this adorable straw purse. Now this is kind of a medium size, so it really wouldn't be a beach bag, but it's so cute. It's very well made, very sturdy. It has a lining in there. I don't have anything in it right now, but it does have a lining in there. It has the extra pocket for you. It's super lightweight, which I really like about it. You could take it to the beach if you weren't going to carry your whole house with you like I do, but it also went really well with the shoes. So I just wanted to share that with you. Really cute bag and love the little detailing that gives it the two-tone effect and then the little bobble right here that it has for a little bit of accent. Just a fun, really cute purse. Also, before we leave off talking about fashion, I just wanna really quickly show you these t-shirts that I got for the year. These are such high quality and such good t-shirts. I am loving them. I have the in black, in white, and then I have it in navy. So I'll just show you the navy one. What I love about these is they're long enough that I, it will hide my rear if I need it to. I also love how lightweight they are. I also love how scoop neck they are. They don't show cleavage or anything like that, but I feel like when I have something that's too high on my neck during the summer, I can really sometimes feel like I'm getting way, way too hot. These are perfect for how scooped they are. They're also a short sleeve. They give you a little bit of added coverage there on the shoulder or on the arm, excuse me. 
and I love how lightweight they are. They go with everything and it's just effortless dressing that is still dressy enough that you look really good no matter what you which one you put on but at the same time you're super comfortable because you got a t-shirt on and you're not overly dressed up if you're going somewhere that's very casual so these i wanted to definitely show you because they have just been invaluable to me all right let's talk a little beauty i wanted to share with you what i'm loving for hairspray right now the l'oreal locket weather control hairspray 48 hour hold I don't think it has 48 hours of hold, but I do think that it holds really well in the humidity. So far this summer, I have been loving how good it's been helping my hair stay in place while I've been sweating or while it's just been super hot or getting more and more humid outside. Spray on it is really good and it's really workable for a few seconds after you put it on. You can really finger through your hair and be able to work your hair. It has a nice fragrance on it. I know some people can't handle fragrance, but this one does have fragrance just so you're aware of that. Hairsprays usually do. I always appreciate an aerosol hairspray a little bit more because my hair is so fine. And so if I get a squirt one, usually it weighs it down just a little bit too much. So this one works really good for me. Been holding my hair, holds a curl, gives you great body. I've really been enjoying this hairspray. Also for my hair, I had to share this with you. I think I've shared it with you in the past, but I'm not sure. I may have shared a couple of other hair loss shampoos. But this one from Shiny Leaf, it's the Active Formula Original DHT Shampoo. This is for men and women. It contains rosemary, castor oil, and biotin. All of those have been known to help regrow hair, but the DHT blocker in this is what is key. DHT is that hormone that attacks the follicles and makes them fall out before they actually are through their resting stage or their dormant stage. So it does go in there and fight that hormone and keep it from damaging our hair prematurely. I use it first on my cleanse. So this goes immediately down on my scalp. And sometimes I use a clarifying shampoo, but even if I use a clarifying shampoo mixed into this, I'm still using it right on my scalp very first to get massaged in really well. And then I'll use my volumizing shampoos or whatever on my second shampoo to give me, you know, extra volume or shine or whatever those other ones are. But I will always mix this in in order to get that benefit of the DHT blocking. Rosemary is really good. Castor oil is really good. Biotin is a must for our hair health. So this is a fantastic shampoo and I wanted to be able to tell you about it. The last thing about hair is what I've been loving during the summer for the Big Sexy Hair Big Altitude Volume Mousse. My hair, like I said, is very fine and it's very straight. And so I need a little bit of volume, but I need something that doesn't weigh it down and this fits the bill. This is a very airy mousse and I never feel like this is too heavy. Now, if you get too much of anything in your hair when you have very fine hair, you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> but this doesn't do that for me. I just use one little squirt in my hand and then I work it through my hair. I don't use this in my roots. If I'm wanting some extra root bump, I will go ahead and use another product, but this one is the one that I just use all over for some control all over in my hair. This is just a great mousse and I wanted to bring it to you. For my baths. Now, when we moved into this house, we have this gargantuan tub and I take a bath almost every other day. I am almost off of showers now. Not that I don't shower, I just love taking my baths. And this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salts Essential Oil, this is the one with shea butter and almond and essential oils. This is so calming and it is so foaming. It just foams up like crazy. Our water pressure sucks in our bathtub, and so it takes forever to fill that thing up. It just trickles in, but this will still foam up a ton. I can't even imagine how much it would if I had a bathtub that was, you know, just coming down and the water pressure was a little bit harder. But this one is just so luxurious, and I feel like I'm pampering myself, and it's calming, and I just love my soaks in my tub. So I want to highly recommend this to you. It's also, Epsom salts are also really good for just everyday aches and pains. So if you're somebody that needs that good hot bath to just de-stress and just release those muscles, 
use a bubble bath it just seems like it's just elevates it just that much more love this stuff also wanted to suggest to you this mirror i think i put this mirror in very recently but i use this mirror almost every single day when i am plucking my eyebrows this is the little mirror that i reach for because it's just so handy now two reasons i love this more than any other mirror that i have ever bought that's small and goes in my purse it's a five inch across mirror. You don't find that very often. You either find three and a half or four inch. The other ones that I was looking for today, they were all that smaller one. But I will link below this one, another one that is about a four inch one. It is a little bit less expensive, but that's the difference to me. That's why I was willing to pay a little bit more for this. Not only is the quality great, I mean, this thing feels like it has really good quality in it, but it's lighted on both sides, which for me is really, really important. Sometimes you'll find those compacts and they won't be lighted on the magnified side. Gotta have that. When I'm plucking my eyebrow hairs or when I'm getting the chin hairs, gotta have that lighted. And also it's dimmable. You can make it go lighter and brighter and then you can make it go a lot less. Like I just made it go really bright. And I love that it's rechargeable. No batteries to deal with. This doesn't have the different colors lights on it, but that doesn't bother me because this these are kind of a natural lighting looking bulbs on here. Not bulbs, but whatever they are, the little LEDs, they're more natural looking. I love this thing. It lives next to my bed in my nightstand. And I also have one that I carry in the car with me. So this is just fantastic. And like I said, I will link a little bit less expensive of one but for me this is worth it it's absolutely worth it now i'm kind of excited about this because i was influenced by one of you you recently told me that the covergirl aqua smooth cream pan makeup is a way overlooked product i've tried this for two days and i'm kind of impressed um, whoever you are, I can't remember because I answer so many comments and I just appreciate that you told me about this. This is what I have on today. And this was so perfecting and so pretty on my skin. I was just really, really impressed. And I want to say thank you for recommending it. It is a very creamy makeup, obviously, but a teeny tiny bit goes a long way. Now I'll tell you what I did. I didn't use the little sponge thing. I think these deliver too much but what i did was i used a very small eyeshadow brush actually i saw this recently and i am going to do a whole entire demo for you guys on how to apply cream makeup that is just absolutely flawless because that's what i got today and my skin looks so good it looks like skin but it looks like perfected skin and i am just in love with this technique so watch for that technique to come very soon but back to the makeup I used so very little of this. I buffed it in with that it's kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush. You'll see it in that video. I'll show it to you in that video. It's a, a Nikki Rose one. I'll make sure that I put it up on the screen. I'll make sure I link it for you guys. But the makeup itself is really beautiful for mature skin, for dry skin. It just took so very little to make my skin look very, very nice. My skin looks like skin. You can still see that I have different spots and different things on my skin, but at the same time, it looks like it's evened out and it looks a little bit more perfected. It just looks like skin without looking like I have heavy makeup on and I am in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. So thank you. I have mine in buff beige. That's the one I got. I thought it was going to be too warm, but when I got it on and I did the rest of the makeup, it just... It, looked perfect also let's talk really quickly because i did just put this in a video but i want to just put it in this video because this is where i get all of my tanning products i want to tell you about this product which is the rose and caramel purity excel 60 second self tan remover now on the pictures you're going to see that it looks like it just removes this self tan very easily I don't think that it removes it that easily, but I do know two things about this product. Number one, it is super hydrating. So this is one of the best preps that I've ever seen for the, my self tanning routine before I go in with my actual self tanner. The other thing is that the self tan that I do have on that has worn off patchy, it will help slough off everything that I can possibly get off before I go in and I start self tanning again. It has a little bit of a granular formula in there so it's exfoliating got that super hydration as well and i am in love with this it's just been a really really good way for me to go ahead 
and slough off that dead skin and get ready to do my self tan routine it's really a great prep for me and i wanted to make sure i told you about it by the way this is super viral on TikTok. it's where i heard about it and everybody is touting how well it helps them you know get ready for their next self tanning session the other product that i talked about before these are the two products that i use in conjunction with each other this is a really great buffing brush to be able to apply your self tanner but from santropay this is the tanning body mist and i use this all over and i squirt it onto the brush itself and then i buff it in all over and just get everything really coated i can't begin to tell you how well this applies my tan. It never looks patchy. I never miss spots. I also think that it's because this product is liquid instead of a cream or a mousse. I never look streaky. I just, I really like the combination of the two, but the saint -Tropez Mist is great because it sinks in really quickly. And because I'm doing this buffing motion instead of using the mitt that may or may not get everything and i've just found that sometimes i get big streaks with a mitt this buffs it in just so beautiful i also find that this self tanner from saint -Tropez wears away very evenly compared to other ones that i've used before where i'd be blotchy in different places it wears away really well and i said this in my last video yes you will have that distinct self tan smell if you want to get rid of that just hop in the tub or the shower um, the next day and go ahead and just use your body wash and it should get rid of the scent that scent is from the self tanning chemical in here that changes the skin color so you really can't get away from that and like i said in my other video if somebody knows about something you can use that doesn't smell then please let us know this actually does have quite a nice fragrance when you first put it on it's almost a citrusy fragrance but you definitely the next day are going to smell like you have done some self tanning and i just wanted to make sure i told you about that but this little bugger is key this is so good i'm so glad that i found this and i'm going to shout it from the rooftops that this two combination has just been really good by the way i've been using this for about um probably two months now in my self tanner and i'm only down that far and i only have to use this about once a week that's how long it lasts so really love that also, I did get asked about this makeup organization right here. I'm going to link that for you. I just wanted to make sure I put it into the video. And then right there is also a box that I keep a bunch of my palettes in. I'm going to get another one of those because I love being able to display those and being able to see all of those out like that. I do have them on a bookcase, but I do like that so much. So I'll make sure that I link both of those for you because they were asked about and both of them are from Amazon. All right, that is it for the Amazon Roundup today. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this video. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Do you have any Amazon favorites or Amazon must-haves that you have acquired in the past little while that you'd like to tell us? about let us know that in the comment section and again if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing i'd love to have you here and love to be able to get acquainted with you don't forget that all the links are down below and in the first pinned comment if i remember to do that love you guys so very much take care of yourselves and i'll see you in my next video goodbye my friends